All right, guys, it is the Shepherdess at Harmony Farms, and today's video addresses the topic, how much time do I spend farming every week? Guys, really quickly before I get into this video, I have something I am so extremely excited about, and it is Joel Salatin is coming to answer your questions. It is going to be a live event with Joel Salatin that I am hosting, and I am so excited about it. Tickets are available down below. I had the opportunity to interview Mr. Joel Salatin last January, have all of my questions answered, and I want to extend that opportunity to you. So check out the link down below for tickets to the Joel Salatin live question and answer time and all the details there. Please join us, I would love to have you there. So as many of you who follow my channel know, I am not a full-time farmer. In fact, I'm just a farmer with a full-time job. But I thought it would be good to do a video that explains just how much time I spend farming every week. Give you a little bit of perspective as to maybe what you will expect if you jump in to this farming thing. Now everybody's schedule is going to be different. I'm just gonna try to divulge to you exactly what I do every day, exactly how much time it takes, and hopefully in the bigger picture it will give you some perspective of just how much time I spend being a shepherdess and a small farmer. So I'm just gonna walk through it day by day. I'm gonna take a week in the life and give you exactly how much time each task took me, as well as a little explanation of what exactly I did. So what do I do? I run a flock of full blood Dorper sheep. How do I plan to make money at it? Well, I plan to sell pasture raised meat, and I also will be selling my breeding stock to other small farmers, meaning I will sell my live animals so that other people can grow out their flock. I am in the very beginning phases of this farm business journey. I'm still, like I said, working a full-time job, which is subsidizing the cost, the startup cost of my farm. My goal is to be profitable within seven years. And not only to be profitable within seven years, but to be earning enough from my farm within seven years to be a full-time farmer. If that happens, it will be by the grace of God, just like everything else in my life. Farming is probably one of the riskiest things you can jump into with the goal of becoming occupational. I've never talked to anybody really who has been able to comfortably jump into farming as an occupation. It's always been a risk. It's always been out on a limb, but it is a risk that we will see at the end of seven years if it pans out well. But my goal here is to bring you along for the journey, to be honest in the day in and the day out, so that regardless of what happens at the end of seven years, I will not only have a chronicle of how it happened, but also I will be honest with you as to what is required. Let's start at the top with Monday. And on Monday, we worked the whole flock. We dewormed, we worked the lambs, we ear tagged, we tail docked, we ran all of the sheep through the chute and administered the care that they needed. Now this whole process took two hours on Monday morning, but 
it was me plus a team of three so it was four people in total and I want to sub that out between everybody so I'm gonna tell you that that was an eight hour workday for one person however it was just a two hour job in the morning with me and three very gracious volunteers after that two hour workday, I spent 30 minutes updating records, meaning I input all of the information gathered from that day we spent working the sheep. I updated deworming records, which sheep needed treatment, which sheep didn't, and which lambs were tagged, so on and so forth. Then I spent 12 minutes refilling the steers water and refilling the sheep's water. Tuesday came around and I did my bi-weekly pasture shift. I moved the steers to a fresh paddock and I moved the sheep to a fresh paddock. Right now the steers and the sheep are running separately and I mentioned in a previous video daily moves but have adjusted down to just twice weekly in consideration of the human resource available. Just to be honest with you guys, the once daily moves were edging me towards a bit of burnout. I had to adjust my pasture management just to fit my schedule better. It's an adjustment I had to make and it's turning out just fine. Someday I hope to be at once daily moves, but that may not happen until I'm actually a full-time farmer. Rotational grazing the steers and the sheep took one hour and 36 minutes. This involved setting up new paddocks, getting the animals moved over to the new pasture, and making sure that the water and the minerals were moved to the new paddocks as well. On Wednesday, I spent 28 minutes running feed to the steers, and the feed being a protein supplement that we are running and it's actually been discontinued for spring but we ran it until about the first week of April. It's a protein supplement that brings their protein consumption up before the grass really greens up so essentially it's to compensate for the deficit in the protein in the forage so that the steers don't eat into their muscle for the protein they need. It typically goes every other day so I'll do a larger ration every other day. If you want some more information on that protein supplement you can comment down below. Won't go into too much detail here just so we can keep moving. But that's what I did on Wednesday. I fed the cows and I refilled the water and that took approximately 28 minutes and that's all the time I spent being a farmer on Wednesday. Thursday, I moved the sheep and cows once again to a new pasture paddock. This took one hour and 16 minutes for both sets of animals. I refilled the water and again shifted the minerals with them as well. The reason that I moved them to a fresh paddock on Thursday was because I was headed out of town for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I shifted them to a larger area on the pasture to have that grazing time they would need so that I could leave for the weekend and then just ship them over once I was home. So if I just did my quick math right, it took about 11 hours and 2 minutes to be a farmer in this particular week. What I'm finding here as my schedule kind of levels out is that I go through seasons where I need to be really intensive. You guys just watched lambing happen and I essentially had to be watching them non-stop, especially given some of the challenges that I faced in that particular season. Um, but that season required a lot of vigilance, a lot of watching. Basically day in and day out, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go anywhere and, and the lambs came and that eased up just a little bit. This week kind of represents maybe more of a normal routine for me, but like I said, there are just seasons that come in waves and I've gotta be flexible to be able to give my farm more time when it needs it. That all kind of comes down to the blessing that I have in being able to work remotely, work from home. It allows me to pop out, handle any problems that come up and then just pop back in here and get back to work. It also allows me to burn the midnight oil if say I had to spend two hours in the afternoon doing something on my farm. I'll just work from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. compensating for, for that. So I'm extremely grateful for the flexibility that my full-time job does offer me in being a farmer and I wanna be honest about that with you guys. I'm not gone nine to five. I am at home working and I do have that flexibility to jump out on pasture whenever I need to and just make up for it in the wee hours of the morning um, when I don't quite get my work done during the day. 
but that's really it. I would say between it takes between 10 to 15 hours per week. There's one, I find there's one really solid day where I've just got to be out on pasture all day. It's typically Saturday, and I'm doing random things like fence line maintenance, water relocation, strategizing on how to get water to certain paddocks because that's a bigger challenge in some areas than others. So I have to spend basically one day being a full-time farmer and then the rest of the days of the week, it's about one to two hours per day. Barring all unexpected emergencies, animal escapes, all of that wonderfully unpredictable stuff that kind of comes with managing livestock. Hope this helped you guys and please let me know down below if you are a small farmer, how much time does it take you to maintain your small farm every week? I would be really curious to see if it's just about the same as mine. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you next time.